want the sheep smelling you and running off. <laughs> hey, sure finally woke up. Oh, look what the sun brought. <laughs> Good morning, Joseph. Mom, last night I had another dream. Oh, another dream. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, but please, why don't you share it with all of us? Yes, who'd the wolf get this time? <laughs> you can laugh, but this time it was about all of you. Oh, please, you must tell us our future great Joseph. Should I be scared? <laughs> Leave me alone. Come on, Joseph, tell us. We're dying to hear about it. Well, all of us were carrying sheaves of wheat. I, I was among you, but then all of a sudden, I was above you and, and your wheat bowed to me. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. Nothing, that's what it means, nothing. Hey, you asked to hear the dream. What happened next? The sky was dark and all around me there were stars. They were bowing to me, too. Ooh, let's all bow down to Joseph. We can't ignore these dreams. After all, his last one did come true. Are you saying that Joseph belongs above all of us, even Judah? I'm not saying that. But there could be a message here. Judah's led the herd for years. Brought in the wheat, raised the tents. He comes first before any of us, especially Joseph. Judah, it's not up to me. God may be telling us something of our future. Then I guess all my work doesn't matter. Watch your tongue. Jacob, Judah, please. I've had enough of this. Let's go. <sighs> Look at what your dreams have done. Don't get mad at me. I didn't ask for them. You didn't ask for this either, brother. <laughs> Half brother. Joseph, boys, apologize to each other. Let me talk to Joseph. Joseph, you need to be more understanding of your brothers. Life is a lot harder for them than it ever will be for you. Why do you defend them? They're not even your sons. They're no less my sons than you are. We're family, all of us. If we break apart, we have nothing left. 